In today's video, we shall discuss about Copernican Revolution. But before that, do subscribe to my channel and let me know your opinions and suggestions in the comment box. Let's move on to the video. So who was Nicholas Copernicus? Nicholas Copernicus was a Renaissance polymath, active as a mathematician, astronomer, and Catholic canon, who formulated a model of the universe that placed the sun rather than earth at its center. His major work, On the Revolutions of Heavenly Spheres, was published in 1543. It laid out his heliocentric model and challenged the geocentric view of the universe. Copernicus died in 1543, the same year his major work was published. His theories went on to inspire numerous astronomers and marked the beginning of the scientific revolution. The Copernican Revolution Before Copernicus, astronomy was largely based on the Ptolemaic model, which placed Earth at the center of the universe and had numerous flaws. The Copernican Revolution challenged this model and forever changed our understanding of the cosmos. Nicholas Copernicus was not the first to explain that everything revolves around the sun, but he did it so thoroughly, in that book, that he initiated a scientific revolution against the universal order established by the greatest scholar ever known, the Greek philosopher Aristotle. The Era Before Heliocentrism The era before heliocentrism was dominated by the geocentric model, a cosmological understanding that placed the Earth at the center of the universe. This geocentric worldview had its roots in ancient Greek astronomy and was notably refined by Claudius Ptolemy in the second century at. Here are key characteristics of the era before heliocentrism, geocentrism, and Ptolemaic model. The prevailing belief was that the Earth was stationary and situated at the center of the cosmos. This geocentric model, often referred to as the Ptolemaic system, proposed that the sun, moon, planets, and stars orbited around the Earth along circular paths. Aristotelian Cosmology The geocentric model was closely tied to the cosmological ideas of Aristotle. According to Aristotelian cosmology, the Earth, being heavy and composed of different elements, naturally occupied the center of the universe. Limited technological tools Observational tools available at the time were limited, primarily relying on the naked eye. Without telescopes, astronomers faced challenges in precisely observing and understanding the movements of celestial bodies. Religious and Philosophical Significance The geocentric model had profound religious and philosophical implications. It aligned with the prevailing theological view that placed Earth and humanity at the center of creation, reinforcing the notion of cosmic hierarchy. The Heliocentric Theory and Its Impact the heliocentric theory places the sun at the center of the universe, with the planets orbiting around it. This challenged the geocentric view and provided a more accurate model for understanding the movements of the stars and planets. The heliocentric theory completely revolutionized astronomy and marked a major shift in human understanding of the cosmos. It paved the way for further scientific advancements and discoveries. Copernicus' ideas challenged commonly held religious beliefs and cultural traditions. They also sparked debates about the nature of truth, the role of science, and the relationship between science and religion. Heliocentrism A Detailed Exploration Heliocentrism is a cosmological model that places the sun at the center of the solar system, with the planets, including Earth, orbiting around it. This concept is in contrast to the geocentric model, which positions the Earth as the central point of the universe. Key Tenets of Heliocentrism Central Sun The Sun is positioned at the center of the solar system, acting as the gravitational anchor around which planets orbit. Planetary orbits Planets, including Earth, move in elliptical orbits around the Sun. Rotation of Earth Earth rotates on its axis, causing day and night. Annual Revolution Earth completes an orbit around the Sun in approximately one year. Heliocentrism and its development. Contributions of various scientists. Tycho Brahe, through meticulous observations of celestial bodies, compiled detailed data on planetary positions. He rejected both the pure geocentric and heliocentric models, proposing a compromise where the planets orbited the Sun, while the Sun and Moon orbited the Earth. Tycho's accurate observational data became crucial for later astronomers, including Johannes Kepler. Kepler formulated the three laws of planetary motion. 
His first law established that planets move in elliptical orbits with the Sun at one focus. The second law described the equal area law. And the third law established a mathematical relationship between a planet's orbital period and its distance from the Sun. Kepler's laws provided empirical support for the heliocentric model, offering a more accurate description of planetary motion. Galileo made groundbreaking astronomical observations with his telescope, discovering the phases of Venus, the moons of Jupiter, sunspots, and the irregular surface of the moon. These observations supported the heliocentric model. Galileo's work provided compelling evidence for heliocentrism and laid the groundwork for the scientific method, emphasizing empirical observation and experimentation. Newton's laws of motion and universal gravitation provided a comprehensive explanation for celestial motion. His work mathematically demonstrated that the same physical laws applied to both terrestrial and celestial bodies. Newton's synthesis of mechanics and gravity not only supported heliocentrism, but also provided a unifying framework for understanding the motion of celestial bodies. Post-Newtonian developments, advances in observational astronomy, mathematics, and physics continued to refine and validate the heliocentric model. Pierre-Simon Laplace's work on celestial mechanics and subsequent astronomers contributed to the precision and accuracy of the heliocentric understanding of the solar system. Challenges and Controversies Religious Opposition The heliocentric model initially faced resistance from religious authorities, especially the Catholic Church. Some interpreted it as contradicting certain biblical passages and challenging the established theological framework. Scientific Skepticism Astronomers and philosophers, influenced by centuries of geocentric tradition, were initially skeptical of heliocentrism. The lack of observable stellar parallax, apparent shift in the position of stars, at the time raised doubts about Earth's motion. How did heliocentrism change the world? The understanding that the Earth is not the center of the universe, and that it is not orbited by other planets and stars, changed people's perception of their place in the universe forever. Copernicus theories helped to inspire a total rethink of our understanding of physics, influencing the concepts of gravity and inertia. These ideas were more fully articulated by British mathematician, physicist, and astronomer Sir Isaac Newton, whose Principia formed the basis of modern physics and astronomy. Beyond science, the discovery that the Earth was not at the center of everything made many people question the very nature of their existence and that of religion earning scientists the ire of the church in the process. Modern confirmation, advances in observational technology, space exploration, and astrophysics have provided direct confirmation of heliocentrism. Space missions, such as those conducted by NASA, have offered detailed insights into the structure and dynamics of our solar system, affirming the accuracy of the heliocentric model. To conclude, the Copernican Revolution, spearheaded by Nicholas Copernicus in the 16th century, holds immense significance in the history of astronomy and scientific thought. This transformative period marked a departure from the geocentric model that had prevailed for centuries, positioning Earth at the center of the universe. Copernicus's heliocentric model, with the Sun at the center and planets orbiting around it, challenged deeply rooted cosmological beliefs and initiated a paradigm shift. The Copernican Revolution set the stage for the scientific revolution, influencing subsequent generations of scientists. It inspired a re-evaluation of humanity's place in the universe and fostered a spirit of inquiry that contributed to advancements in astronomy, physics, and the scientific method. In summary, the Copernican Revolution was a transformative period that challenged established cosmological beliefs, introduced a more accurate model of the solar system, and paved the way for the development of modern scientific inquiry. Its impact extends beyond astronomy influencing the broader trajectory of the scientific revolution and shaping the way we perceive and understand the natural world.